Now, the government is seeking to change the nation's gun laws. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang made the disclosure in an interview with TVJ News. We have the details from Dwayne Anderson. This video emerged on social media last week, showing persons at an event believed to be awake held for a policeman in St. Andrew. The explosions heard in the video are gunshots allegedly fired by officers who were in attendance. The police commissioner, Major General Anthony Anderson, has since ordered a probe into the incident. Now, while many questions remain about that case, it was a reminder of a practice by armed men to carry out gun salutes at events to mark their colleagues or loved ones' death. And in many cases, those gun salutes are done by licensed gun holders. Such a practice is a breach of the law and reaffirms the need for the gun laws in Jamaica to have more teeth. Minister of National Security Dr. Horace Chang, while not commenting on this specific incident, said the gun laws will get top priority this term. In terms of what's near, the Farms Act, thank God, is about, should be coming up within a few weeks. It should go back to the CPC for some final review to come back to the AGC and we expect, given the relationship, the working relationship we have established between the various stakeholders, it should only be one turnaround and we should be get, get it into let's come into parliament and that's a critical piece of legislation because the reality is that firearm is still the murder with firearm is still the biggest cause of homicide in jamaica um, and we have to create a modern piece of legislation to deal with the illegal all the illegal activities surrounding the use and trafficking of a firearm for minister chang another critical piece of legislation that needs retooling is the anti-gang legislation that piece of law was supposed to help crime fighters suppress the close to 400 criminal gangs said to be in operation across the country. But so far, prosecutors have had limited success in court when using the anti-gang law. We have seen we have had a few hiccups, having had, I think, no three cases before the court. One is still being um, not complete, but the first two had three, in fact. Burger Gully Gang, Child, went awry, Kings Valley went awry. So we have had two that has um, raised some questions and we have to look at how, what those questions raise, bring to the fore. So whether we need further amendment in legislation, which we have just gone through, or we need to look at how we, um, or prosecute them, which would be maybe the, 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 the remit of the DPP and the kind of investigation we put in place to gather the evidence as well. And speaking about matters brought before the courts, the minister reiterated the administration's intention to challenge the court ruling on the states of emergency SOEs. Weeks ago, the courts ruled that the detention of men under the states of emergency was unconstitutional. The comments of the judge, which is kind of strange given the case he was dealing with, and raises other issues, but certainly we will not do anything until we have the entire comments that has come from the High Court judge clarified. And if we have to go for review at another court, as that's the AG's decision, or uh, otherwise. So, you know, it really requires legal advice, and we are awaiting the actual final written judgment and the comments by the Attorney General and other legal team for the government. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.